Hi there, Bruce Simpson here again at RC Model Reviews. Today I want to talk about something that confuses a lot of people and it's connectors. I mean, the thing about connectors is there's so many different types. Today I'm going to talk about RF connectors. RF means radio frequency. And these are the connectors we use on antennas and, and leads to antennas and things. And again, there are, there are just, there's really only two types that are in common use for our RC gear. And that's SMA and reverse polarized SMA or RP SMA. I'm going to show you the differences. I'm going to show you why there, there is the difference, why you have the two different types and the, the, the rationale, the logic behind that. So let's have a look on the bench and see what these things look like. Okay, here's a typical application where you would be using an SMA or an RP SMA connector. And it's a video transmitter and an antenna. In this case, a linear, linearly polarized antenna. Now this one has an SMA connector on it. Let me just zoom in on that for you. There is the SMA connector, as you can hopefully see, if this will focus, let's get that out of the way. Um, it has a pin in the middle on the, the, the part that has the screw thread on the inside has, also has a pin in the middle. This is SMA. And this used to be the standard for antennas for Wi-Fi and all sorts of things. But if you look at the receiver or the other end, you'll see that it has uh, the part where the threads on the outside has a little bit in the middle where that pin on this side can screw into. So that's the standard, that's the old standard. SMA was very, you know, it was the de facto standard for 2.4 gig stuff and other frequencies. But then they changed to RP SMA. And here is an RP SMA connector. This is the one with a thread on the inside. Um, I think it's generally called, I can't remember if these are females or males, it's so confusing because it depends where you're talking about the pin or the threaded piece. But this is the piece that would normally be on your antenna. Uh, and you can see it, it doesn't have a pin in the middle, it actually has the little hole for the pin because the pin, if we go to the other end of this, the pin is on the part that is threaded on the outside. So this is RP SMA, reverse polarized, because the difference is if I just try and compare the two, try and keep this in focus, it's always a bit of a challenge. Here we go, there's the difference between the two. One's got a pin in the middle, the RP SMA has a pin in the middle, and the SMA doesn't. And this is on the part with the thread on the outside. If we go to the corresponding parts with the thread on the inside, which is usually the antenna or the lead, if this focuses, let's see if we can get this up here, you can see that the reverse applies. SMA has a pin on the middle with the part that's threaded on the inside, and RP SMA doesn't. Now you might think, why, why did they change? Why, not, why bother to introduce RP SMA if you've already got SMA. Well, the justification, the rationale they gave was that this piece here, the threaded piece where it's threaded on the inside, it's usually the antenna or a lead. And that's the kind of thing you're likely to throw around or throw in a box or, you know, generally mess around with. So this, that means that the little pin in the middle is gonna be more exposed to damage. You know, if you've got something like this, uh, this video sender here, this video transmitter, you're not likely to go throwing that around quite as much as the antenna. So they decided, well, let's change it. Let's put the, the pin in the middle of the socket piece, the threaded piece there, the piece that's gonna be attached to your valuable piece of equipment. Let's put the pin in that because you'll be more careful with that. And let's take the pin out of the antenna side of things, which means you can throw your antennas around without worrying about bending or damaging that little pin. It's really the basis, that's, what they, that's why they did it. So the problem is, of course, that not everybody has changed. So we've got some gear with SMA. For example, when it comes to FPV gear, all the Fat Shark systems have SMA, and then all the, uh, what is it, the Boscam, um, Foxtech, other ones have RP SMA. So that's a bit of a nightmare. Now, some traps for young players, some really, really things you've got to be really, really careful of is if you have an RP SMA antenna or cable connector like that, you can still screw it onto an SMA chassis connector like this. So you can actually screw those two together, but you can see when you do that, that there's not going to be a reliable contact between the innermost parts because there's no pin. And in fact, even I've done this before, I've screwed a, uh, an RP SMA antenna onto an SMA transmitter and it seems to work because although the, the inner part of the cables aren't actually connected, they're still in close proximity. So some of the signal gets carried across that little gap but you lose a whole lot of power, you lose your range, so you tend to fly at a range. There's a video on my XJet channel when I did that with a transmitter, a, video, a radio control transmitter. I used the wrong antenna, so I flew away. Fortunately, I had an FY21 AP in that plane, so I got to about 400 meters, and the failsafe kicked in, it turned around and flew back. If I didn't have failsafe, of course, who knows what would have happened, simply because I used the wrong antenna with the wrong transmitter module. Something to be really, really careful of. Um, you can't do the other way very easily, of course, because the two pins will collide if you try and screw an SMA connector into a reverse SMA 
chassis connector, the two pins will collide. So you can end up actually bending them and breaking them if you try really hard. So always base to check, double check, make sure that you've got the right connectors and you use the right connectors. Otherwise, all sorts of problems can happen with your video gear and also your radio control gear because a, a lot of transmitters these days, especially with the modules, have a removable antenna. It will be either SMA or RPSMA. You need to know which it is so that you make sure you use the right antenna and, and you don't get them mixed up. Okay, so that's just a really quick overview because it's really, really important if you stuff up if it, uh, SMA, RPSMA, you will have major problems either with your RC gear or your video gear. So make sure you get the right ones. And if you can't remember which is which, there, there's references on Wikipedia and things like that. But um, the, the video that I've just shown you, you can see the difference. The, um, with SMA, the pin is in the antenna or the cable. And with RPSMA, the pin is in the bit that mounts on your transmitter or your transmitter module. That's probably the easiest way to remember it. So I hope that helps. Any questions on the bottom, comments on the bottom, thumbs up if you like it, you want others to find it. I'll be doing a few more little videos like this in the coming days so that I can sort of, you know, keep providing the information that so many people really want me to provide. And now it's back to the bench. Bye for now.